So last year there was a great joke uh, about you having obtained Lithuanian citizenship and deciding to represent uh, Lithuanian international basketball. Um, all jokes aside, if the opportunity came, what would be your decision on this matter? I think I definitely would. I think it's something fun that I haven't experienced yet. Um, and that'd be a, a fun challenge for me. But I also love the way that uh, Lithuania keeps their team really, you know, just, you know, Lithuanians and they really love their country and want to show that they have, you know, they come from a big basketball ground uh, background and that they love fighting for their country. So I also like that side of it. But, you know, given a chance, I would definitely do it. Did you get uh, messages from fans, you know, saying that come, come to our team? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, definitely got uh, some fans uh, that was saying you should play. And also, it, it'll be funny. Uh, it was funny when seeing certain fans in the sh like the street when I'd be walking, and they never knew it was an April Fool's joke, so they thought I was seriously joining the team. So the the look on their face was kind of sad when I told them it was a joke. <laughs> but yeah, definitely got some messages from fans. Uh, photography is, is, or at least was, one of your hobbies. Uh -huh. uh, many people have seen your photos on Instagram. However, it's been a long time since you posted. So what happened with that? So I ha I definitely have been taking pictures, but I mean. Most people see it. Even on my original Instagram, I don't really post too much, but it's, I don't know, it's such a hassle to post. But after my injury, I was, you know, I couldn't walk for like two, uh, two, two and a half months. And even when I first started walking, my leg was still so weak that it was like I was kind of limping around. So it was kind of hard to really get out and do photography. I would sit inside and edit, but um, I just, I just haven't posted. I have pictures and I've taken pictures, but I just haven't. Uh, post it and I keep telling myself I'm gonna get back to it but uh, especially during the rehab process I was so focused on you know rehab 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 that I wasn't just focused too much on getting out and taking pictures but definitely want to pick it back up. Do you invest in this hobby of yours? I mean you do buy cameras. Since the injury I haven't bought anything but recently I've been doing some research on a couple cameras because I want to try to learn uh, some videography so I'm trying to uh, see if there's like a, a cheaper camera that I can get and look at and kind of invest into that one because the one I have right now is really into just pictures. Uh, what's it like to have titles written along with your name, like league title, cup title, Euroleague playoffs, but not having played in the finals or other decisive games? Oh man, it, it was it was a great feeling, but it also was like, man, I felt empty inside. Um, you know, you feel like you didn't con uh, contrib contribute, but it was, um, you know, when I thought about it, man, I, I felt like I was one of the loudest people over there, um, cheering for my teammates uh, every game, uh, even in practice, encouraging everybody. So you still feel a part of it, but it just doesn't feel the same as being on the court. Some time ago, Achilles heel injuries meant that a player is probably never going to play at his former level. However, there are great examples of, you know, of players like KD. Uh, who got over it. Uh, did you study their cases? Perhaps you talked with some of the guys who, who had similar injuries to learn their lessons. Yeah, I've had a couple friends and, it, and it's pretty cool because uh, when it happened, a lot of actual, you know, high level athletes reached out and kind of gave me their, um, you know, their sympathies and pretty much told me the, the, the process of what would be going on and that it's not 1930 anymore and, and you know people actually come back from these injuries and you know get back to themselves so they just really told me what I had to look for how the rehab process would go and you know there's going to be some bad days and there's going to be some good days but you just really have to keep looking at the through, at the light at the end of the tunnel.